Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fight. We used to pray. And while we prayed, and we called upon the name of the Lord, I remember one of those times, one of the sisters in our midst, she has the gift of prophecy. She began to prophesy. There's a certain anointing threshold in those fellowships that we held those days. Once that threshold is met, it is very likely that the two sisters that have the gift of prophecy, either two of them will prophesy or one will prophesy. But there was one that was so gifted in the gift of prophecy that she could speak about things. Things not seen as yet. It's from the economy of those things that were not yet seen that she prophesied to me. And she said to me that the grace that God has put upon me is an international mantle. I didn't know what, what that was then anyway. And I, I knew the words were not hers. The intelligence the, that was needed for her to speak those words, it didn't come from her. However, even though you have an international mantle, there is a lady that will be sent to you from the kingdom of darkness. <laughs> if you survive this lady, that is when the mantle will be in view. So imagine how, how equipped I was after she spied with the gift of prophecy. She operated like a watchman. And you know, when something is orchestrated from the realm of the, of the spirit, your bold face and your physical alertness is not sufficient preparation to forestall. I know some of you have, you, you, you say, yeah, I'm a disciplined man, I was raised uh, in <laughs> your natural discipline. Something that is so terrific that God is announcing it. <laughs> your current defense as currently constituted doesn't have the capacity to by any means forestall that which God is warning you about. Guess what I did? I knew it was supernatural. So I took a fast and I began to long fast. In final year, the lady came. It was later I realized that um, most of the anointed young men, and I need to tell you the truth, when I was on campus, I was not the best in terms of the anointing. There were guys with crude oil. You don't understand what I was talking about. <laughs> so, I was not the best. I was just the teacher. I was the teacher of the generation. If it's the Bible, you have to consult me. I had a gift in that area. It was a strong one, a strong gift. But there were strange men. Strange men. There was this guy from Koronshisha. Nobody could pray like him. I saw him doing prayer exercise. Okay, like he'll be praying now, then he can sit down. He can sit down now and stand up. Prayer exercise. He'll be doing it. <laughs> he, he was a strange fellow. So when the devil saw the harvest that will come out of those spiritual exercises taking place on the campus, he sent that lady. Those days, when you come to the prayer room, you will see like 200 people. The number started dropping, started dropping until a day came when I was the only one in the prayer room. Oh, I didn't know what happened. And I'm not saying this to suggest that I was good. Okay? The true story of what happened is that that lady, he, he finished all these people. He drained out their spiritual life. I was the only one left. I was in final year. I was about to leave. Do you know that the lady's intention to get me to compromise, he exceeded school. She followed me for five years. Oh, you, you, you won't believe this. Five. Five years. But you know what kept me? I was warned. When we went to Abuja, they, 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 they gave us a job. So I was staying in Abuja. I was working in Abuja. So I was no, 
I wasn't coming to Makodi anymore. One day, the security people came and said, somebody is looking for you. They called the name. I didn't even remember. Who, who has that name? I saw that lady again. He traced my office in a You know what? I was warned. When all the Abuja on didn't work, I got posted back to the depot here. And I went for a crusade. Mumu Akpai came to IBB Square. Out of the thousands of people that came for that crusade, that you can even lose your child in the crusade and not recover your child again. Maybe you find your child at the police station. This lady came out of the... Just came out like this. It, it was me. She came. <laughs> you know why I survived it? I was warned. There are several things you will never survive except you are one.